AI changes everything. I think it does. Generative AI was massive and um, incremental and step change in not just marketing, you know, across the enterprise, um, but not how you think. And what I mean by that is in the short term, I think the changes will be not exactly what everyone's talking about. Uh, Gen AI, now there are GPT-3 came out so over a year now, it was, uh, um, November of 2022. So that's when we all sort of went into chat GPT and that was three, GPT-3. There was a GPT-2 and I looked at that. People, you know, they forget there were few one GPT-2. I looked at GPT-2 and I tried to, I was taking a data science class and I tried to get it to write a, a Hallmark Christmas movie. Just an outline, because I thought it's formulaic, and you know, if it can write anything, it could write that. It did not do a very good job. GPT two, so GPT three is much better. It was amazingly better. So I think it is. It does change a lot, and it will kind of work through this as we know over many decades. Um, but in the short term, this is what matters. Number one, prompts. Prompts are really just. I think of it as very, very, very easy coding. <laughs> in the eighties, we had to learn machine language. Um, if in the 90s, it was like C and C+, these are lower level languages. Then, you know, Python came along and, and basic. And um, so languages got a little bit easier. I mean, it's not, it's never easy to do really good coding in, at any era. You know, to be a master, you've got to be really good and work really hard. But you can kind of get started much more easily over time. And now prompts will let you, it's not like human language exactly, but it's closer to human language than any other kind of coding. So prompts, very important. That's the input into the large language models. SEO, that is robots talking to robots. <laughs> I get in trouble when I say this, but what I mean is that, you know, if you have Gen AI generating content that's going to be crawled by robots, then it's really robots creating content to be read by other robots. So there's going to be a lot of that going on in the future. And then content generation. Content generation is the, the hot topic. And it, it works, but it's going to be really great for quantity scaled quantity and personalization, and also for people who don't like to write, frankly, or people like me, like in the art space, my art skills are extremely weak. Uh, these tools can help me a lot. I can create imagery that I could never have done in the past, but I, I am a writer. I've written four books that have been published, others that have not been published, <laughs> another topic for another day. Um, but I would never let a machine do my writing for me. You know, I, I, why would I give that up? I don't understand, but, but other people don't feel that way. You know, they're happy other machine rough. But I think quantity, not quality. 